Alright, hello everyone, this is Jaxus. And we're here to commentate over a match between the Super Futanari brothers, and Robert and Chiro. To the moon. Yep, uh, Shy Tails going by a different. Come on, G-Man. But, and, uh, Shy Tails is their normal team name, but. Why did they say we did this fire? We killed this fire. We their name. For obvious reasons. <laughs> but, um. Uh, it looks like we have the <laughs> gold team versus the purple team, not the green team. But, Smashville. Let's see. Rosalina and Luigi, we've seen how they work pretty well together because Rosalina is pretty good at stage control and then Luigi is kind of a stock ender, but neither of them really has any trouble killing. ZSS and Little Mac, though, ZSS is amazing in the air. All of her aerials are super good. And with Little Mac covering the you would, in theory, the same is. Yeah, I, honestly, I can see this team working really well. I'm, the one thing I do see, though, is uh, if Little Mac gets sent off the stage, ZSS, we'll I don't think, has as good tools as some other characters to help him. Yeah, the only thing that ZSS is going to help is if he's coming to the I'm talking about, like, running off and hitting, because, like, Bear, the angle on it isn't upwards at all. Like, for example, Sheik, her Bear hits kind of back and up, so towards the stage. But on stages with walls all the way down, like some of the Omegas, not Smash Bros. here, uh, if they bear him into the stage, then he can attack and wall jump off of it. Yeah. But we chose Smash Bros. because it's also the back of the front line. Fortunate SD by Brobear ends with a double KO right there. But yeah, what I'm just expecting to see from this team is uh, Shiro kind of just covering the ground and specifically trapping landings and forcing them to force Well, specifically, like setups into those kick and flip kick spike. Oh. Uh, that's actually something that Nitel has had a little bit of a problem with, is up being the wrong way. He's and just like that, the game is like right back to even. There's been a couple unfortunate SDs on both sides now, but... But then again, there's a team from Up Mac, it's kind of expected to see him as a little team. Actually, so I think Up Mac is the only one who hasn't. Yeah, so far, it's surprising. Just Kind of a dialogue, mm. Back well, that not a dead little battle with that little Mac, never mind. Yeah. Sadly, if one Mac gets turned too far, his side beam is really Yeah. Not even close. That platform helps him. Definitely. Guy so gets a grab on Grobear, but uh, Churro is there to punish the grab. Doesn't get a follow up and gets some solid damage off of it. That's kind of the interesting thing about doubles or anything with a lot of players is some things, especially grabs. Oh! I'm just scale. expecting ZSS to grab the Luigi Bob and put him out this kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting that right now. Oh, no, nope. Little Mac lost his KO punch, so that's no longer on the field. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't still have some scary. No! Okay, that was neat. Some scary knockback on stuff, but, uh, just. See, Luigi. I don't actually know what he did to set that up. I think it was a fireball. Yeah, I think so too. But then Luma hit it straight into a tornado. Yeah. Or a cyclone. Can Little Mac do this? No, well, I mean, if there's any character that can. At least on stage, then it's Little Mac, but if but they get him off stage off. once, that is. Yeah, as long as they edge guard him. No, the Smashville platform there so long as completely he needs, saved him. So long as he keeps saying the second platform. Oh, he looks okay. As long as he yep. says something. Okay, if, if, if he Shy had been any faster at that, he would have died right there. But luckily for him, he had, you know, luckily for him, he walked into his hitbox. He would have walked into his already. Yeah, um, just Luigi's slide there almost killed him. I saw the slow mo and the shield come up, and I'm like. KO Punch ignores shields, and then it didn't hit, just barely. <laughs> that, that was that was an insanely close game just because of that. Yeah, it's like, that KO Punch if Shy was any closer than you know, that hitbox game, it would have game. Yeah, he was definitely a kill percent from that. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, he didn't go um, into it. Yeah. Um, this is round two. Semi-finals. So I'm gonna stay the same. There you go. Yep. 
Maybe a little color switching, custom switching. Uh, that's more gorgeous. Uh, maybe custom switching. <laughs> Where are they gonna go to now? Duck hunt. I think they did stick around there. Yeah. I feel like uh, this is actually one of the Max like absolute worst stages though. I feel like the reason for that is a lot less of an issue in doubles. It's because you can just camp the trade against them. Um but assuming this goes down to singles, there's potential for this to time out. No, I doubt that any of these players would actually go for that. Yeah, especially since it's easy, it's easy to feel like they're trying to go for the trade, probably at this end of the worst kind of game out of the game. Against all the maggots that free camping against all the maggots is a good idea, but not against the DSS and too close to the game. Yeah, that is, that is very true. Not alive. Oh, but everyone <laughs> died except for Little Mac. Who ironically dies to fall. Yeah, he, he's supposed to. Oh, stuns partner, but it's just gets a dash attack off instead of a better punish uh, from the opponent. Jiro just barely let snap there. Oh, are we gonna see? Nope, we're not gonna see the death combo because the duck got in the way. I think it was also very slightly mistimed, but yeah. I'm honestly not sure if that was just because of the dog. Oh, right, Little Mac has KO Punch. Right, and that's Mac why the tree is such a scary place against the SS. Yeah. Luckily it didn't quite kill, or like it was shy at least, but... Stun the Lumens deck. What just happened? Oh, um... Rosalina up smashed Little Mac, and during the hit lag with the lightning and everything, ZSS uh, attacked him and saved him. Uh, Little Mac killed himself. ZSS back throw to flip kick does not get the spike hitbox, but definitely puts Rosalina in a really bad position. And then Chai was unable to recover there. This is not looking what like the same happens? game as last time. Uh, Team Misfire to the Moon is gonna have to start playing like a mix of really safe and just closing out stocks pretty fast. And I'm thinking they should get rid of Little Mac because it seems like he's actually stocking. Hmm. Little Mac uh, actually played correctly. Oh! Played correctly is actually a very defensive character just because he cannot afford a misstep. Also, that and is he like a decent game class? Uh, I don't actually know. But with that, Rosalina is dead, so it's Shy in the 2v1. And Shy. He's doing pretty well at managing both of them, uh, switching back and forth to kind of keep them off base. Because he can't let them. Or he can't afford to let them get, like, a trap situation set up. And but at, at that point, it was. He was in trouble because they did get the trap set up. Yep, and Luigi just doesn't have the aerial mobility to really challenge anything ZSS has, or at least not like that. But now it is uh, counter pick time for Misfire to the Moon. What do you think would be the best option against this team? Because I'm guessing they should possibly try to get rid of the attack as fast as possible. If possible. Huh? Or other way around. Oh, oh, honestly, I might... I don't really know Little Mac in doubles enough, because the stage list yeah. matters a lot also, differently for him there. But also, I also don't know enough about Luigi and Rosalina. Yeah, but with Little Mac with Parker, uh, his partner, the partner can help Little Mac in some situations, such as this, that you know, Little Mac off the end, she do works. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like we're going to town and city. Um, 
I was kind of expecting Battlefield at first, and then I realized that ZSS is here, and that not fair with those platforms, and Little Max Shark solo platforms so well. Yeah, so that is just be asking. That's just been going to the but let's see, Town and City, um, it does have a low ceiling, so ZSS's up air, up air, up air, up B stuff will kill slightly earlier. It's a very slightly lower ceiling. However, uh, Rosalina and Luma and Luigi all kill upwards. Wow, that so, was good. Yeah, but Little Mike just kind of kills anywhere. Shy uh, got the down throw on Little Mac, but didn't actually get really anything off of it. Oh, but he's taking it down now. However, they do now have KO Punch, which he needs to watch out for, but they successfully watched out for it. Yeah. The other thing I'd say the other thing about the stage of Little Mac is that the top is a little bit so far, yeah, however, on the other hand, when they are there, the platforms are high up enough that he can't really shirk them without jumping, and a jumping little whack is a sad little whack. Yeah, plus his arrow is I don't know, a couple of them are good situationally, it's just what the most part? not against, like, Luigi and Rosalina. Uh, Green Team needs to start taking off stocks, though. They have percents pretty high, but they need to actually finish it. Oh, doesn't quite finish off Robear, but Little Mac's dead. Nintels yeah. does not get the successful edge guard on ZSS. Honestly, it's looking like they aren't quite sure how to deal with uh, Little Mac right now. You have to really focus on him once you get him off stage, just to make sure he doesn't come back. And they're kind of... And in doubles, if you ignore Little Mac, Little Mac will kill him. Yeah. He's the type of character who, he's really good because he's... You have to pay attention to him, so you can't just ignore him like you can some other characters for 2v1. But if you 2v1 him... We'll bring up the fact that, okay, he kills a decent percent. Yeah. So, it's I'd, I'd say pretty indecent percent. Like, they're, they're really early. Okay, here's another KO. Oh, Ooh, wrong way. Yeah. And ends up getting killed for it. Oh, they tried to go for a neat king combo there, but didn't quite pull it off. Um, Churro and Grobear are doing pretty solid. Oh, wait, I didn't notice that uh, Little Mac was down on his last stop. In this game, ZSS is stuck because she's avoiding using that. Mm -hmm. Who? Uh, ZSS went for an uppy, I think it was right there. Shy just almost died. He almost got cheesed pretty hard. But I mean. Uh, I, oh, speaking of. This. So far, This is looking like the exact opposite of the last game. It's now 2v1, three stocks on the other team. And <laughs> Luma eats the. Paralyzer shot. Um, ZSS is in a decent position where she could possibly bring it back. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the one thing that I would say uh, ZSS doesn't have right here that she really wants is uh, kill moves that are really low commitment. Because her bear is really good, but she's not quite at the point where bear will kill from like anywhere on stage. Uh, boost Kick and Flip Kick Spike, or Flip Kick in general, are both insanely good moves, but unless he hits both of them with it, then the other one will just run up and kill him for it, so he can't really afford that. However, as you saw right there, the bear I was talking about, um, and if he can get rid of Luigi with the bear, and then get the down throw death combo on Luma, yeah, Rosalina, not Luma, that would be kind of sad if he got it on Luma. Alright. Luigi's gone, and this is now suddenly a fairly close match. Yeah. Ooh. Luma jab will not quite fill this time. No. Broker is doing pretty well about applying pressure. Um, yeah. Definitely cannot afford to make any mistakes right now. Drops the shield just slightly early. That was that was a good match for both teams. Yeah, definitely. But it looks like next up is going to be Misfire.